Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over cropping basics. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Who says your characters and objects have to be set at their default size? Cropping is fun, it adds visual interest, and it's easy to do. In this scene here, you'll notice that my character is cropped. Now only one of these images was done in a third-party editing tool, and that's this one here on the right. What I did is I screenshotted her and then went into a third-party editing tool and cropped her there. Then I re-imported her into Doodly, and now I have this nicely cropped image that I can use at any time. Now these other two characters are not cropped at all. They're just, in this case here, enlarged. So here's how you might have her normally. And then what I did is I just increased her size and positioned her on the screen. Now the downside of this technique here is that if I do want her to be drawn on by the hand, the hand will do its thing, but it'll also go down here and draw all these elements, even though they're off the camera, so to speak. So just keep that in mind. Now this character, and this is one of my favorite techniques for cropping, is exactly as we would normally have her in the scene. So what happened here? How did this happen? Why is she cropped? Well, I have a blank white rectangle, and all I do is I use it to crop my characters. And that's a really handy technique to use. When you use these white rectangles, be aware that they're gonna wanna draw on, so you'll wanna set the duration to zero. So let's take a look at how Doodly handles all of these different drawings. In this case here, when I re-uploaded the cropped image, I did go in and redo the drawing paths by hand. So the hand will draw her as expected. Likewise with her, this is just your stock default image and it has drawing paths so the hand will draw them. You may or may not notice him doing stuff down here. I don't think, I don't think that's gonna be too much of a factor. And then this one, of course, the hand will draw her as expected. But we're gonna have this white rectangle. So let's take a look. So there's my drawing paths. Now he's drawing the second one and our third one. Now here comes my rectangle. Okay, so you want to be aware of that if you use that technique. And what you're gonna to want to do is click your rectangle and turn off your drawing. And you may not even want her to be drawn. You may want to set up the scene so that she's already there, she's already covered, because it does give away the illusion if he draws the entire body and then covers it up. It, just, it looks a little strange. So what I might do in this instance is I might have her be my very first item that appears with a zero duration followed by the rectangle that's covering her up. Then maybe I want the text to come in. We'll see. And then let's have the girl on the left be drawn and then finally the girl on the right. So let's see how that looks. And I think that looks really nice. And that's the basics of cropping within Doodly. Thanks for watching.